All right, you know, it is that time of year. Sometimes you just want like a really good scare. And there are some haunted attractions in our own backyard, and a lot of them are for a really good cause. Yeah, so news for Jax's Tiziana Onstead has much more on this. Spooky. Thank Woo. you, Vic and Nikki. Well, you may have heard of the Hall of Terror. Well, a local nonprofit, the Jacksonville JCs, started that in 1970. It was held every October at certain locations like Market Square Mall and Adventure Landing up until 2005. Now, last year, the local JCs reinvented the indoor event to a half mile maze in the woods. It's now called the Trail of Terror, but it's more than just a haunted attraction. As the day comes to an end and dusk falls, the fun begins. Welcome. Welcome to the <laughs> and don't say you haven't been warned. Get out of here! Get out! Every inch, every foot is going to have something scary. It's going to have someone ready to scare. Guiding people through the darkness, Sierra Patrick will make sure you're in for a scream when you're on the trail of terror. I like watching people get scared, and I like, I don't know, just the feel of it. Um, I'm always in the front, so as I'm going through, I can communicate with the people, the actors, be like, hey, you know, this person, they've been said they're not scared this whole time. He has on a blue shirt. Get him. And then seeing that one person get scared, it just kind of, it makes your night. But it's all for a good scare and a good cause. Trail of Terror is one of many projects created and ran by the nonprofit Jacksonville JCs. The organization is for young professionals 18 through 40 to practice life skills while raising money for a variety of other charities in its community. I love the people I work with, I love the people I work under, and the events are, are pretty cool. It's nice to see people come out, and it's nice to feel like you're making a difference. But the president of the organization, Sean DeVries, says they're not only helping out its community, but the volunteers individually. It's a great feeling for myself just to see other people blossom, because a lot of folks come into this organization when they may be new to Jacksonville, or they're trying to change careers or, or go up the totem pole at, at their company. So they come here, and they learn all these skills that they can then take back to their, their daily life, and it really puts them above the rest. And they're doing this one scare at a time. The woods so soon? Come in and stay for a bit. Now, the trail is off Camden Road. It's open tomorrow till Halloween, and tickets are $13. But we'll post all this information on our website, newsforjacks.com. I think that All was, right. yeah, that was, that, I mean, I'm already a little scared after seeing that. Yeah. I was terrified going through it. Oh, and, yeah. No, you no. had fun with it. Uh, I'm a little scaredy cat, guys, but okay. I, w I have to say it was the best time, one of the best haunted houses I've been to. <laughs> I right. think he liked it. <laughs> I already saw the clown, so, you know, that's, that's kind of all I needed to uh, see. Oh, we know about clowns. <laughs>